Yo, what's up guys? This is gonna be a quick tip video on how to remove your rear brake lever on your CRF250L. So I had a subscriber actually ask me about it and I recently changed mine just a few months ago. It's a little bit of a pain. I'm not gonna take it off. I'm gonna take off some sections, but I'm gonna show you everything and what you need to take off to take it off. Super easy, it's the cotter pins that'll get to you. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this video is gonna go out to George Sweeten. Hopefully I'm saying your last name right there. I wanna, I wanna let you guys know if anybody has any recommendations or there's anything in particular you ever wanna see me do, uh, whether it be come down to bike maintenance, you wanna know about something, you wanna review about something that I have, whether it be gear, bike, a part, anything like that, let me know in the comment section below because I'll do my best to make that happen for you guys. I'll maintenance anything you guys want to see, just let me know in the comment section below. It's actually not as bad as you may think it is. It's all basically cotter pins. So I'm going to take off a couple spots and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to take off in order for it to slide off. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and point out. I'm going to point these spots out for you first and then I'm going to pop a couple off. So we have a spring that's right here, okay? We have a spring that's right here, very simple, okay? And we're gonna have to slide underneath the bike, so bear with me for just a second while we do so. I'm gonna shine my light as well. Hopefully it doesn't blind the camera. All right, so now we're underneath the bike. Hopefully I can get this to focus in for you. All right, so as you guys can see, right here is another little cotter pin. You see that? Okay. That's the cotter pin that I'm not gonna take out. So all that is is kind of like a slide pin. I'll show you the front of it here in a second. You fold these two tabs over. Mine's kind of hard to tell because it's dirty, but it's just a cotter pin, little slide bolt. You bend these two tabs perfectly straight, cotter pin slides right out, and that thing will slide forward. And then you also have, this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna pop out for you. So this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one out for you. And as you can see, it just slides over the bolt. So it goes through both sides. You pull this tab right here in this direction, it slides right out. Let's go ahead and pop it out for you real quick. It's funny that this occurred like this because I was just recently thinking of doing short little mini series on maintenance and tips and tricks. And I was going to ask everybody who watches my channel um, to go ahead and give me recommendations and things like that. And I'll make videos happen to videos that you guys want to see. You know, I don't want to make stuff that you guys don't want to see. But if you guys have any recommendations or anything in particular you want to see, just let me know because I'd, I'd love to make the video for you and show you how I do things or how to get certain things done. So we're going to go ahead and take off the first spring. As you guys can see there, I can't get my camera behind it, but it's just a little spring right here. Okay. You grab it, pull down. That's all it is. You know, and it connects right there up top as well. You let that one hang freely. There's another spring right here. We're going to go ahead and grab this spring, pull down on it. Don't want these springs to fall off. It doesn't matter if they do. I don't think it matters which way they go on. It's exactly the same on both sides. So like I said, the only one I'm not going to take out is right here. This is the cotter pin. You bend those two tabs perfectly straight on the back again, and I'll try to show it to you once more from this angle and hopefully she'll focus in and it's not wanting to focus i apologize for that that's the cotter pin right there is the cotter pin you're just gonna make that perfectly straight bend those two tabs over pull that cotter pin out and this right here is the cotter pin in the back so we're gonna go ahead and grab it like this okay and we're just gonna pull it and it's gonna feel like it wants to get stuck a little so you just kind of bend it down and boom cotter pin comes right out that's what she looks like when it comes out so this right here slides into the two holes in the bolt, goes all the way through, and then it just basically locks itself in place. That's all you've got to do. The cotter pin's out for this. This will slide right through. Once you take the cotter pin out on this one, the whole thing will just, this will drop down. This will slide out. So if I can remember what I did with mine is I actually took these two bolts out from the rear master cylinder so this could move around freely. Um, so you could kind of wiggle it out of the way. You take these two bolts out, this will have some play in it. You drop this side down, like you lift this up, that'll come down and you slide this right out. So what you wanna do is you wanna disconnect this spring, disconnect this spring, take out this cotter pin from behind here, take the cotter pin out from behind here, take these two bolts right here out. This will give you some room to move this around. You're gonna drop this down from here and pull it straight out, off she comes. Super simple, super easy. Uh, Reinstallation is the exact same thing. Slide this cotter pin back in, put these two bolts in, slide this cotter pin back in, attach these two springs. We'll go ahead and slide this cotter pin back in right now. So you just kind of put it back there, 
find the hole for where the bolt's going to go. It's always the most pain to reconnect it to the other hole, but just wiggle it around, you'll find it. And then you just lift down on that, kind of bend it outward like so, and boom, she's in. Takes two seconds. Give it a nice little tug. Make sure it's not just falling off. And then you'd put this cotter pin back in. You're going to grab this spring. Just like so. I just use a pair of locking pliers. And then same thing with this spring. Grab this spring like this. Boom. And it's in. And unfortunately, you guys can't see that. But it's just a little tab back there, as you can see. See it back there? Super simple. Not really any tension on this one at all. You can pull that by hand. And that's it. Uh, hopefully this tip helped you there. Hopefully it helps some other people as well. I will catch you guys on the next one. Adventure Zach is out. Peace.